All right, Harmon, this is Mr. Keys. Oh, I got some bad lighting. Ooh, and some bad hair. Um, so uh, this is Monday, President's Day. I'm uh, working from home or doing our video from home. Um, oh, Mrs. Keys, what are you doing here? Here you go. All right, thanks. Um, so we're going to do, since we're starting our hockey unit, um, I thought we'd do some uh, cool down exercises that focus on our hockey uh, specific uh muscles. All right. So the first one uh, we're going to work on, you can find a chair or a stool. Uh, you could do it on the ground, but a lot of hockey players ha are having problems or have problems with their hips. And so one of the first ones we can do to work on our hip mobility is you find that stool or that chair. I'm going to take a seat. I know you guys don't see me sit down very often, but uh, you just take a seat and you do one leg over ankle on your knee here and you're just pressing down on this knee here. And uh, it's recommended, research says, for uh, mobility and stretching that we want to hold from anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 seconds. So I usually do, or 10 to, 10 to about 30 seconds is the longest. Um, so I usually do about 20 seconds or so. So again, I have my ankle on my knee. I'm just pushing down on this outside knee and stretching out this hip here. And then I'm switching it up, going to the other side. Same thing. Uh, my ankle, I'll show you my socks. My, this is right where my ankle is, is where these colors are. And then I'm pressing down on that knee. Again, holding for about that, uh, anywhere in between 10 to, to 20 seconds is uh, recommended. All right, so another one that we're going to work on uh, that can help out our hip mobility and that means just getting it through our full range of motion um, when i do this in class a lot of the students say that we're working on our ninja stretch so we're into uh this position here like a frog but then you're going to take one leg out to the side and so often you see hockey goalies doing this one so i have my leg straight out to the side so the goalies are going to do it a lot of times if you hear the blue jackets and there's players that are out um, or unable to play. A lot of times they say, oh, it's some sort of groin injury. And so that's the area right in here. We're trying to stretch that out or make sure it's mobile like it should be. All right. So we're going to the other side. Same thing. Uh, and then anytime we're doing a cool down, flexibility, mobility, we, whenever you do it on one side, you always want to do it on the other. And that creates a good uh, balance. And so we want to make sure we're well-rounded, well-balanced. Um, and we have the same range in both. All right, so moving on to the next one. This one's one of my favorites. Been doing it more recently in class, one of the uh, research books I've been reading about. All right, so this one's uh, pretty easy to start with your knees, uh, both your knees up like this, and then you're going to take one leg, put it over top of the other one. You can lay down, make sure you're, you keep your back on the ground or your shoulders on the ground. You have your arms out wide like the letter T, and then you're leaning your hips to one side. And so a lot of the times in hockey, what's really important um, is that hip strength um, and that side to side lateral movement. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Again, you have both knees up. I'm gonna take one knee over the top and then I'm gonna go to the side. So when we talk about lateral movement, that means side to side. Most of the time in life, we're doing a lot of front to back. But in hockey, uh, to be able to skate and push off, what they do is uh, go from side to side. And we'll be doing that in floor hockey as well. All right. And then our, our last one, um, what you're doing, again, uh, a lot of these are going to look pretty, pretty similar, is uh, you're going to be on your belly here. I call this one the scorpion. So you have on your belly. Let me see if I can get the video right. Yeah. On your belly. Arms flat on the ground, chest flat on the ground. You're taking one leg, just trying to put it over top. So uh, your leg, let me see if I can get the video. Yeah, here, just like that. So I have my opposite leg trying to stretch out and reach over to the other side. So it's called that scorpion. And then I'm going to take my other one, do exactly the opposite. Some of you might not be able to go all the way down. Some of you might be able to get your entire foot 
on the other side while you're laying down. It's entirely up to you and your range of motion. All right, so those are four specific hockey uh, flexibility uh, and mobility stretches. Hopefully um, you're staying safe and uh, make sure you get outside if you can before the big storm hits. Maybe you can get some shoveling done. That's an easy way to get. Um, well, a quote that I got the other day while I was watching extreme uh, commutes to school was the best way to to uh, get warm or stay warm is to do work. And so walking outside, running outside, playing outside, uh, shoveling, you're, that's the best way to get heat. That's the best heater we have is already on us. We just got to make sure we're moving around while we're outside. All right. Thanks for working with me, friends.